Hi, thank you for joining me on Traveling Through with Dolly. I hope you're all full of turkey and stuffing from Thanksgiving and that you had a great time with your family and friends. As we head into a new week, we're looking at a new spiritual gift, which is kindness. And Wikipedia describes kindness as a type of behavior marked by acts of generosity, consideration, or concern for others without having an expectation of praise or reward. Kindness was one of the main topics in the Bible. I love that Wikipedia mentions the Bible in its definition of kindness. There are so many great Bible verses about kindness, and there are quite a few Proverbs also, which we just finished the Wisdom in the Proverbs series. So a few of my favorite Proverbs are, Let kindness and truth never leave you. Bind them around your neck and write them on the tablets of your heart. And that's Proverbs 3, verse 3. Or else, um, another one, Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. And that's Proverbs 12, 25. And then something from the New Testament. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. There are many ways to be kind. There are lots of simple acts that don't even take us out of our way. You can smile at someone, open a door, let someone in in traffic. I dare you to try that one. Or not engaging in gossip. And then there's other acts that might take a little bit more of our time, like sending a card or an email to celebrate someone's achievement or special day, um, giving a co an honest compliment. There's a proverb for that one too. And sharing homemade food or donating items that we no longer need. Reaching out to someone who is suffering is also a kindness, and it may scare most of us, but it's important to note that we are not called to fix people's problems. We're just called to be present for them, to listen to them talk, show them that they're loved and that someone cares for them. Many of you have probably seen the Winnie the Pooh snippets on Facebook and um, if you haven't, I suggest that you Google it, Winnie the Pooh slash kindness and you'll see how Winnie the Pooh, Piglet and Tigger all work hard at being friends for each other. For the most part, being kind is just putting other people ahead of ourselves and something that should be part of our everyday life and our attitude. And it's completely free. But don't worry if kindness doesn't come easy to you. Patience and prayer also go a long way. And being kind also includes being kind to yourself. So speak to yourself gently and kindly. Don't beat yourself up if you, um, if you make a mistake or if you don't feel that, that you've done something as well as you could. Just learn from it and move on. And maybe other people will be kind to you and understanding that you are just a person and that you make mistakes too. So kindness is definitely beneficial to the recipient, but it is even more beneficial to the giver. Studies have shown a direct link between being kind and experiencing increased happiness, healthier heart, as well as improved relationships, and it has a positive effect on your own mental health and well-being. Did I mention that it's free? So going forward, um, I'm just going to leave you with a few quotes on quiet kindness, and I hope that, that you've enjoyed this. So here's a few quotes. When you are kind to others, it is not only changes you, it changes the world. Kindness is a silent smile, a friendly word, a nod of encouragement. Kindness is the single most powerful thing we can teach our children. Kindness, the most valuable gift you will ever give someone. Wherever there's a human being, there's an opportunity for kindness. That was Lucius Aeneas Seneca. No idea who he is, but we all know who the Dalai Lama is. And the Dalai Lama says this, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. And then Mark Twain says, kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. That's powerful. Kindness is a sunshine in which qualities grow. Kindness reaches down into the weary heart and makes it shine. And then two of my favorites because of the images that they convey. Try to be a rainbow to someone's cloud. That's from Maya Angelou. And throw kindness around like confetti. To me, I love that, just throwing kindness around. So I've just scratched the surface on kindness. There's so much more if you look on the internet. You can just Google kindness, you'll get all of these little quotes that I've been um, using. And join us on Sunday as Tim talks about kindness in the Bible. So have a great week and um, love yourself and love others. Okay, so be kind. Bye.